Right, okay guys, today's video we're going to be talking about the Kawasaki ER650 Why I think this is the perfect starter bike, here we go Okay guys, how you doing? Um, so one of the reasons I picked this bike over uh, a lot of the other bikes on the market for a first bike I didn't think about it, I thought about it quite a lot I thought about all the different bikes that were available to me Bigger engines, smaller engines There's a wide, uh, a wide availability at the moment, you know, you can get all from 125, 400, there's even 250s in between um, 650s, 750s, 800s, 900s, 1000s and above and uh, the reason specifically that I picked uh, this bike um, a 650 you know the great bikes uh, and specifically this one because it's lightweight it corners really well and it's still got the power, it's got a lot of power I can keep up with bigger bikes uh, especially on smaller roads, once you get on flat open roads you know they leave me obviously and uh, it's great fun, I can wind throttle back and get a lot of fun out of it and like you know on a thousand you can't wind it back as much, you just can't have the fun and uh, that's part of riding for me is going out having fun so uh, the reason that I picked this one uh, as well is because I took my test on this bike, believe it or not. Um, the place where I took my test, they only had these bikes. Now, originally I wouldn't have first looked at one of these. When I got on it, started riding it around. It was so easy to ride, you know. The, it just flick around, like. It's so easy to do U-turns in road and... Uh, I don't know, they're just great, it's really easy to handle, really great bikes. So that, that were number one really. Uh, number two I think was affordability. Um, uh, the time I bought this bike, this is a 16 plate bike. It should have been about four, just over four grand. Uh, I managed to pick it up for under four grand uh, from a deal, uh, from the place where I took my test. I know the guy quite well. Is everybody jogging today? So yeah, I got it as a deal. Uh, I picked it up at a good price. And I checked the insurance before and I literally could insure it for like 250 quid. Which might sound dear to you, but for first year's insurance, um, yeah, I've got my A1 license, which is my full bike license. But first time full license on the road for the first year. That's actually not bad. 250 quid. I thought that was good. You know, I could have gone to a thousand SX Kawasaki. Um, they, they were coming up at six, seven, eight hundred pounds for a year, and I'm like, I can't. I could afford it, but what's the point? It's too much money. I'd rather start small and build myself up. So, um, yeah, really, it were about affordability. Hold on, what's going on here? Keep clear, parts over it, well done. I had to pull throttle back then, it pulled a little wheelie Only a little one, but it did it There's a car pulling out, I'm doing 15 miles an hour, come on shift it Where are we going here? Beep. So, um, yeah, so affordability That were really the main thing for me because it was still 
it was cheap to buy, cheap to insure, uh, obviously the cheapest tax and the rest of it. Kawasaki's got a good track record, you know, the good strong bikes, lots of them about, and uh, a bit of a no-brainer to me. Now, there were a lot of other bikes out there that I could have bought, uh, you know, there were the Honda um, 700s, 750s, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't like them, I sat on a lot of them, they weren't really for me. The thing that stood out about this bike for me, uh, other than the other bikes, is the seating position. I am really sat up on this and it's really comfy. I just feel great on it, you know. I'm not the lightest of guys. A little bit on the heavier side. Uh, and even though it is a small bike, really, 650, it holds my ass around just fine. Yeah, I like it. I think it's a great bike. I do wanna I do wanna move up. I mean I'm gonna Hopefully, probably jump up to a Ninja Thousand uh, as soon as I can afford it. Really, um, I don't know when that's going to be because at the moment we're on lockdown here in the UK. Coronavirus, it's not good. Let's see what's happening here. Another bike. Let's see if he nods. All right, pal. See, I've been looking at them bikes, Suzuki GSX 1000 Fs, brilliant bikes. And believe it or not, you could pick them up for about eight and a half grand uh, with zero miles on, if you look around in the UK, and that's cheap. I think they're about a ten and a half grand standard front showroom. So, yeah, back to the camera's kit. Um, it's a uh, it's really great seating position. I feel really comfortable on this bike. Um, none of the other bikes that I sat on, I quite just felt at home on it, you know. Yeah. Uh, car's parked up at the side of the road here. Can't overtake this yet because there's a blank corner here. Um, taking it steady, we're having a chit chat. Let's see where it is going, let's see if he carries on up, Will. Yes, she's going to go all the way up. Amazing. I'm not going to stuck behind you up there, Paul. It's got loads of power, this bike. For a little 650, it's great. It's only a twin cylinder, so it's got like a... It's got a... It's got a noise when you, when you let off throttle. You probably can't hear it from a microphone, but it's got like a... It doesn't sound right well. It's got like a farting noise to it. Let's put this trailer off. Some of these are blind corners, so I just want to take it steady. Um, yeah, when you let it rev off a little bit, it just sounds like it's farting a little bit. It sounds like a sloppy fart. But other than that, I quite like the sound of it. I wouldn't even change the stock exhaust on it. I don't really like loud exhaust. Not too loud, anyway. You do long distances, they just give you a headache. And uh, I might have bothered about that. I quite just enjoy my ride, take it a bit steadier, have a look around, sun's out, going behind clouds. But you know, it's it's a fairly nice day and that's what I like, that's what I enjoy. This little village here. <laughs> Lovely round here. We know I'm fair at the moment by the way. Just going up through Home Bridge, we've gone through Home Bridge, we're up towards Home Moss. I'm going to keep quiet when you get these twisty bends. And then uh, we'll come back to you and talk a little bit more about. Right, okay guys, how you doing? Just thought I'd give you a quick walk around. Uh, just pulled over. And uh, while the sun's out, 
thought I'd have a quick walk around, talk about a few things on bikes. So, uh, this is the ABS model. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I can't tell the difference between the ABS model and the uh, other model, um, you know, without it. But um, I think it's worth getting it. Do you know, it's, really, it's a good bike, it's a nice bike. One of the things I don't particularly like about this bike is this exhaust, stock exhaust that comes with it. It doesn't look great, really. Um, I'm not going to upgrade it because I quite like the sound of it. I don't want to get a big bore exhaust because they're too noisy. Um, yeah, lovely bike, it's cracking. I've had to upgrade these stock windscreen because the stock windscreen was so small it didn't quite look right. And I've put the bigger windscreen on it, it just gives it a bit of meaty, meatiness on the front. Um, so yeah, so I put the Pewig windscreen on there, about 70 quid online, if you have a look around. Yeah, cracking little bike. Can't go wrong, got the I've got the bag on the back. Uh, start my stuff in, it's not bad. Girlfriend gets on back, she likes it, she thinks it's comfy as well. Um, have a quick blast around, enough power for two of us as well. She's skinny, so she doesn't hold her out much weight. Um, yeah, let's give it a fire up, let's check it out. It's not in neutral, stick it in neutral. Air out in neutral. It doesn't sound great, you know, it's a 650, I think it's, it's not bad. Right, okay, I'm going to jump on, let's go for a blast, I'm getting red hot in this heat. Right, okay, so we're on the road, we're on the way up to Herm Moss, there's a few twists and a few bends. We're not going to be going too fast, so uh, nice and steady away. Quite like to enjoy the ride. That's a sunny up here today. Theatre. It's coming out of the village now. view up here so we're just coming out of our fair we come from our bridge just jumping over our moss it's got quite a hill climb up here just following these two cars up nice and slowly oh that Audi TT is going for it look I'm not going to follow him take it steady um yeah some great views up here massive ridge over there the moss mast Check that view out. Dead rabbit in the road. <laughs> sort of cast we ever thought I'd just double check. Too busy looking that way. This is start at Pennines. Some great bike rides over here. I'm definitely going to be coming over here showing some videos. Uh, there's lots to talk about over here as well. These old bikers look. Peace! More bikers. Check 
check that out for review. Right, okay, so we're back, so we've just pulled off the uh, Woodhead Pass, so we're going to jump down into Dunford Bridge. We're going to take a steady ride down here and have a chit chat. So, I'll check that lake out down there, how nice is that? Can you see that from here? I'm not sure what angle GoPro's at. Um, yeah, beautiful around here. So going back to the first bikes, now there's a lot of channels have covered this on YouTube and some say that you should just you just jump straight for a thousand, go for a litre bike and you know and have it done with. Some of them say that you should start at maybe a 250, you know, and work your way up 400 and, and so on and so on until you get to where you want to be. I, I totally disagree with both end of options there. I actually think, I mean, it, do, it does depend on how old you are, especially in UK, um, because you can't have your full yeah, UK A1 license uh, until you get to uh, 21, I believe. I'm not too sure, but um, I've got my full A1, so I didn't have to build my way up. I could literally jump on any bike I wanted. But I didn't do that uh, I, uh, for, uh, for cost reasons. I didn't do it, and you got to remember as well when you're on a thousand cc, whether it's one of the higher powered or even a lower powered thousand cc. All it takes is for you to, by accident, do that. If you can see that, by accident, fall back, pull it back, and it's not forgiven. Yeah, you're going to be spinning out if you're not careful into a wall or you pull a wheelie, uh, you know. And it's if, if you're not if you're not good on bikes, you can get out of control real quick. And not only that, but you know, a lot of bikes can do 100 mile an hour. Check these guys out. So I call it road up. Uh, a lot of bikes can do 100 mile an hour, but if you get a lower power bike, you know, like a 400 or a 600 or whatever it takes that little bit more thinking 
to be able to get yourself in trouble. Um, yeah, I can do over 100 on this 650. If I choose to do it, eh, not very often. I've done it. Um, have I got in trouble in this bike by accidentally pulling throttle back or I'm in wrong gear there so I'm talking uh, I don't think I have actually uh, I do do silly things down again like uh, you know I'll pull up to a junction and I'll put brake on fully before I stop and then you know you can't come to a judgy brake at end I mean I still do them we all do it every now and again we all sort of two silly things and on a 1000cc bike it's so easy to mess up and you can be in trouble real fast uh, in so many videos just check YouTube out go on videos check check these big boys out just crashing and doing silly things uh, now don't get me wrong you can wheelie on these 650s I'm not going to do one because I'm not great at them I'm going to practice though I will practice we will get some wheelies done um, you can wheelie these I've got the power but it just takes that extra little bit of thinking you've got to you know it's like a two step process not, not a one step process so, uh, for me, I would, if you're not a seasoned rider, uh, or you've not got a lot of motorbike experience, a lot of people, uh, well not even a lot of people, but some people, you know, they've got bikes all their life, they do off-roading, uh, and then they go do the, the license, and they just ride, they're good on the bikes. That's fine, go jump on a thousand, do what you need to do. You've probably got the expertise to ride a litre bike, no problem. God, how nice is this over here? So I just come uh, uh, back through Dunford Bridge. We're in it, uh, pretty much in the head edge right now. Uh, I'm just going to keep going. I'm probably down into a firth and uh, see what it's like down there. Let's give him a nod, Paul. Uh, nice to meet you. Um, so yeah, the thousand uh, cc above bikes. Uh, for me, I I, uh, I don't think it's a good idea. Um, just because you can get you in trouble and that, that that's the only reason why there's a lot of silly young lads out there who just get a bit of showing off and things happen you know it just happens you can hit a portal suddenly you pull the throttle back by accident oh fucking hell bike's in a wheel there it's in wall you're all laid on floor simple as that uh, with a 650 something like this it's not it's not massively powered I think I don't quote me on this, but I think it's about 65 uh, uh, horsepower in this, which is not a lot. You get a litre bike, some of these litre bikes have got 120, 130, 140, and then you know 160 and above, and, and that is ridiculous amounts of power. Yeah, they just small little villages. Um, so you still get the speed on these, it just takes a little bit of extra extra thought and getting there, and that, that, that's, that's great. Um, I think specifically this bike, I don't know about loads of, I haven't really rode that many bikes at the moment, um, because it's so easy to handle and brakes so good and I, I just think it's a great, a great beginner bike and the place where I took my test, like I said before, they did your test on these bikes, they did that because it's such a good bike, you know they wouldn't do it otherwise. Um, and um, I, I think this is the perfect bike. I, I've, I've rode 125s before this. That I can do best part of 100 mile an hour on a 125. And it's not really overly much different to riding this. So should you start on something lower, like a 250 or a 450? I'd do it well, it's your preference. Don't get me wrong, it's your preference. Um, see what I mean? I've made a fuck up there, it's because I'm talking. Um, so... There's some nice bikes out there, you can get the R1125, they look mint, I love one of them for my when I did my CBT years ago, when I were about 17, I'd have loved one of them, I really would, but they didn't, they didn't have them kind of bikes, they had the Aprilia, one, uh, Aprilia 125s, RS 125s, my mate had one used to do about 120 mile an hour, it was crazy, fastest 125 around here anyway, and uh, yeah, some of these bikes can keep up with 650s, no doubt, but why why have a 125 when you can just jump on a 650? It's still cheap enough to insure, it's cheap enough to buy. You know, they're not, 
it's not a massive sort of distance apart so why 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 get a one two five you know I, I just can't understand it uh, I mean yeah it's preference it's people's opinions but for me I think I think a 650 is a great place to start it's in between it's a still a smaller bike you've not got enough power to get you in trouble uh, they feel good you know you can sit on them and the, the you can sit on them for hours and ride around especially these ER6Ns let's go this way